Hey, what's up everyone? It's Ash. And Porter. We're enjoying the aftermath of our soda experiment. And one of our favorite YouTubers, an amazing YouTuber, she's so wonderful, oh my God, Kay's cooking. Hi people, and I'm back cooking again. We're not joking, like we both like legitimately enjoy oh, watching yeah. Kay's cooking videos. No, Kay, Kay's amazing. So what we decided to do today is we're going to follow one of her recipes verbatim. We're gonna take this thing, and we're gonna make spaghetti bolognese, okay? This is gonna be spaghetti bolognese. Yeah, it's it's not how I would prepare a spaghetti bolognese myself, but it's how Kay does it. We're gonna give it our best shot, and oh, yeah. uh, whatever happens, happens. This is definitely not Gordon Ramsay's recipe. This is how you cook down home English what? cooking. It's gonna be <laughs> All right, so we're going to be following her recipe as closely as possible. So I tried to lay it out just like she has in the video, just so we can get this as close as possible. Of course, our beef is a little bit redder than hers. She, she recommends brown beef, but we don't have brown beef for some reason. Who knows? This looks like we got two eggs. So we're going to we're going to take this and we're going to. Hey, hey, that's not a... bad. Hey, okay. Right, okay. Good, good tech. Mm -hmm. Gross. And then, and then she whisks it together. So we're we're okay. gonna we're gonna take this. We're gonna just break these yolks. Give it a give it a good old whisking. I think yeah. I think we whisked it too we much. We whisked it too much. We already we she already only did it. it four four good whisks. <laughs> what did she call them? <laughs> Let's see. And I've got some spaghetti sticks here. Spaghetti sticks. So we have some spaghetti sticks here, also known as spaghetti. So we're going to be using spaghetti. I, I went for the, the, the cheapest stuff, only the best for this video. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, our, our beef looks a little bit fresher than Kay's. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's so perfect. This is why I'm vegan. Look at this. It's like a brain. So we got to pour this egg in this mincemeat. All right. We're going to take our fork, okay. our eggy fork. Just... Just give it a give it a twist. Oh, oh, no. oh that's so nasty! Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Oh, yeah. Mmm, so gelatinous. I've got some spaghetti sticks or spaghetti, whatever you want to call it. Oh, oh shit! Sticks are too big to <laughs> fall from the pot. <laughs> Okay, Six. okay, so we got our spaghetti. See, spaghetti, it's gonna lay down in here. But first, before we do this, we need to take this shit right here that, uh, I'm gonna touch it. You have to, for K. Oh God, this feels ex Do it. Hold on, can we get a, can we get some like, like Foley work here? Can we put that up next to the microphone for a second? We'll do some like ADR. We so take you take this, and you stick it like this. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Sque squeeze it. <laughs> squeeze it. It's so gross. Squeeze it, Ash. I'll, I'll do a couple after you. We'll, we bo we both need this experience. Here we go. Oh, okay. It feels pretty gross. Um. <laughs> That's not ideal. <laughs> it's it's wetter than I thought it would be. That's for sure. Okay. Um, and then you just kind of. Get it pretty even. That looks good. It's, it's just a meat kebab. So going for a big like handful of the spaghetti was a mistake. And I'm going to tell you why. It's really hard to wrap the so sopping wet meat around the shaft properly. And I'm having a really tough time of it. I'm about to give up. We're going to commit. <laughs> <laughs> immediately fell apart when it went in. Got my, my rusty can opener and some some tomato sauce. We're gonna put the tomato sauce on this, but not all of it, because we don't want that much sauce 
on our freaking stuff. We want this to be dry as a bone. Nice, Look nice, nice. Looks good. So we just we just put scans. Just kind of unceremoniously. We, we got to save some for later, according to the video. So now we have to put it in the oven. So we have this delicious, beautiful thing. This is why I'm vegan. Mmm. Look at that. Look at that. So now we're gonna cut the onion. We're gonna get this ready. Chop. Just gonna give it the old chop. Oh God. This is why Ash doesn't cook much. Do you think that's enough onion? Um, nah, this is case cooking. We need, we need. Yeah. And I think we're pronouncing it wrong. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced honeyon. Honeyons. We need to. Honeyons. So we need to cut the honeyons. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh. All right, you ready to check it out? Oh, look at this. Oh, it's oh, it's so pretty. Oh, no. mm, look at those juices. Oh, meat juice. That that. No 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 no. no. <laughs> Bert ends. Oh no. Oh my Get god. That. We're gonna put a ton of these onions on this pasta. Yay. She just kind of scatters them around uh, without much regard for, well, for cooking, I guess. Um, any spices of your choice. Any spices of your choice, she says. We have really old basil, so we're going to put some basil in there. Might be too much. That's good, yeah. <laughs> so now we put the rest of the sauce over this, I guess. So she said, open up a tin of tomatoes. So here is a tin of tomatoes. These are diced tomatoes this time, not tomato sauce. So we have to put this back in the oven for another half hour. Mmm. All right, let's toss it in. See you in half an hour. It's done! The big reveal. The end product. Oh. oh. Is, uh, that's certainly something I want to point out. Um, those those onions, uh, they still look pretty raw, don't they? A little bit. Um, right there. Looks delicious. Okay, so this is it. This is the end product of spaghetti bolognese. This is K's spaghetti bolognese. I guess. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it crunched. We got a crunch out of that one, so that's good. Okay. Okay, so it's not as like hard as I thought it would be. The noodles did get kind of soft. All right, guys. So true to the original videos, we're going to have a taste test. So I have my unwilling participant here. Say hello to the camera, Porter. Say hi. hi. Yeah, you ready? No. So, so Porter's going to try the infamous, the delicious, the amazing spaghetti bolognese a la K. That's That's the full experience. Visit, right visit here. right here. Okay, this one's for you. I gotta try um, everything but the meat. I mean... I actually kinda want some of this burnt end here. Okay, this this is actually like legitimately crunchy. Like, can you hear that? Look at this, uh, yeah. <coughs> I mean, the, the, the meat is unseasoned, the Pasta's obviously undercooked because it went into the oven with just tomato on it. Tomatoes is intense. The onion's definitely not cooked. I gotta be honest, this isn't as bad as I thought it would be, but it's so pretty freaking weird. It tastes like, like what you would expect, right? It's just the collection of all its collective ingredients. Does the nice. beef even cook? Ish. So we got like a mid-rare in there. That's not ideal for ground beef. <laughs> How this was in the oven for 50 minutes mm. and the beef is still pink. Look at this. That's so tasty. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I want to say really fast a quick little disclaimer. So, obviously, this is a comedic video. We're not trying to make fun of Kay. We were just following her recipe, seeing how it goes. I mean, what, what, what did you think, honestly? Out of 10. I think uh, taste is at a, 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 a two. Technique is at a one, mm -hmm. and overall, probably, yeah, just averaged out to one and a half. So.
so. Yeah, yeah, I'd probably give it about the same. I, not, I mean, not great. If you guys want to go check out Kay, go, go give her a follow. She's really cool. She does a lot of amazing recipes that you can try yourself and cook here from your own home. Plenty more where that came from. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, don't forget to sub. Go check out at Porter on Twitter. Later, Thanks for guys. enjoying our pain once Whoa. again.